Hello, my name is Gareth Evans and welcome to this video. Thanks so much for clicking on it. Today, I'm gonna to be answering the 10 most frequently asked questions that I have. Uh, so many questions that come in over and over again. So this is what this video is for. Answer your questions. So here we go then. The top 10 most frequently asked questions. Okay, question number 10 is what strings do I use? I use Elixir HD lights. Those are the, the 13 to 53 are the size, they're phosphor bronze. There's a link for the strings in the description of this video, so you don't even have to search if you don't want to. Just click Elixir's HD lights. Click the link. Okay, how long have I been playing the guitar? I've been playing guitar since I was 13 years old, which is a couple of years ago, something like that. It was 22 years ago, uh, which gives you, a, if you can do your mental arithmetic, you can work out how old I am, but um, 22 years ago, I started playing guitar, so it's like two thirds of my life now, pretty much, almost, so it's a long time. Okay, question number eight. What is the tuning for the guitar? I always mention the tuning for the guitar in the tutorial itself. You just watch the video. Just just watch the video before you ask what tuning the guitar is and you'll you'll be fine. It's, it's really, really easy. Or go to the tabs. They're always written on the top of the tabs. Download the tabs from the website and, uh, and you'll be good. So the next most frequently asked question is where can I find the tabs? Where can I find part two? Where can I find part, find part four? And so on. It's, it's the same thing, but it's just the case of look in the description of the video. And you, you know, I feel like I'm saying this a lot, but it is, it is that simple. Like there's so many people who ask these questions. All the descriptions include links to the tabs, links to the other parts, in the, on the website, GoliathGuitarTutorials.com. So just read the descriptions, listen to what I'm saying, a lot of these questions are answered for you. So next up, what is the intro song and can I learn it, do you have a lesson? That kind of comment or that kind of question. Uh, yes, it is an original kind of jingly thing that I put together. Yes, there is a lesson. All you have to do is um, search YouTube for how to play my intro song or you can search Gareth Evans or Goliath guitar tutorial intro song something like that you'll find the the lesson to it check this out Andrew Foy playing the Goliath guitar tutorials intro roll clip Okay, next question, what guitar do I use? This is a filed Falstaff. This was made for me by Roger Bucknell, who's the guy who makes files. And uh, there's a link in the description of my videos to go to the webpage um, where it will show you where to get one for your very own. But beware, they're very expensive and there's a long waiting list. So unfortunately, you, you have to be very lucky to get your hands on one. It's a very exclusive type of guitar and I am so lucky to have one. So um, yeah, go and check them out. Okay, so the next question is request-based question. Can you do this song? Can you do that song? Generally, it's really difficult for me to say yes or no on these questions. Yes, I can do that song. It very rarely can I um, because I'm limited to the amount of videos that I make. Although, you know, sometimes I do, sometimes you get lucky. We do listen to all the requests. We do look at most of the requests as well. Um, if you've not ruled them out already, we, we, we assess them to see if they're, if they're um, good enough or if they're the right type of song to make a, an interpretation or a cover of, that, or a lesson of, that kind of thing. We did give priority these days to the Patreon supporters who request, and also there's a monthly newsletter we send out for the Patreon supporters. They get to vote on what type of songs that we want to, we're going to cover next, and. Um, you know, that type of thing. So the Patreon guys get more of an input on the requests. Although, like I said, I don't rule any requests out. We all requests get listened to. If you've got any requests, you can leave them in this comments of this video. We always listen. Okay, so the next most frequently asked question is, do I need a capo to be able to play this song? And generally the answer is yes, you need a capo. The songs that I teach are very, usually very advanced. And if you're trying to be an advanced guitar player and you don't have a basic bit of kit like a capo, 
um, then you really should invest in one. You can get them really cheap from eBay. Stick it on your birthday list or stick it on your Christmas list or something like that and uh, you'll be good. Okay, so I guess that's the most frequently asked ones out of the way. We've got, I'm just gonna throw in a couple of random ones just to make up a round number of 10. So here we go, a couple of random questions now. What do I do in my free time? What are my favorite sports? Uh, just basically wanna to get to know me better. It's a great question uh, because it's not the kind of thing that I answer often. But um, my interests outside of playing guitar are, I like gaming a lot, obviously that's you know, represented in the YouTube channel, Gareth Evans Gaming, go and check it out. So I like gaming, I like sports a lot, I like keeping fit. Uh, I play football or soccer for you Americans uh, twice a week. Sometimes do exercise bike, I sometimes do running. I've got a weights gym at home, um, so exercising. I like to watch TV, like Netflix. Uh, okay, some random facts. I haven't had an alcohol, alcoholic beverage in almost a year. I don't smoke. I like to spend time with my family. I like going out with the family. Uh, do I sound boring? <laughs> Next question, what's my favorite food? My favorite food has got to be Italian. I love Italian food. It's like pizza. It's like, who doesn't like pizza? Pizza, uh, that's it. Just pizza, I guess. Pizza. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I answered most of your most frequently asked questions. Like I said, I do read all the questions all the time. And if there's anything else that you ever want to know, just leave a comment. Usually, I usually answer the comments on a video when I've just released it because we just we just released it and you get that um, that new video kind of response. So if you catch a video really early, leave a question and I'm likely to answer it personally. So that's my suggestions for getting your other questions answered. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching. I will see you again in the next one. Bye for now.